Ladies and gentlemen, the dream is officially dead. I am Broken Games HDR, and it is truly a sad day. Factions 2 is officially dead. We can finally move on with our lives and not be mentally held hostage by the hope, by the tiny bit of hope some of us were holding on to for Factions 2. So Naughty Dog uh, posted this update. I'm going to read it. An update on The Last of Us Online. And what's funny is um, with a lot of their updates, they, you know, just actually post it on Twitter so you can read it. But in this one, they only provided an, a link, an update to The Last of Us Online, and then it's the link, and then there's no comments, you know, uh, enabled. So uh, they didn't want to, they didn't want to see that. Yeah, they... Yeah, they wanted you to go to the website. They, they didn't want you to go off on them. They, they, they kind of hiding. So here's what it says. An update on The Last of Us Online. We realize many of you have been anticipating news around the project that we have been calling The Last of Us Online. There's no easy way to say this. We made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on that game. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated Last of Us Factions community, who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ardently. We're equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting, our, putting it in your hands. We wanted to share, uh, share with you some background of how we came to this decision. This, this decision. Oh, how kind of you. Uh, the multiplayer team has been in pre-production with this game since we were working on The Last of Us Part Two. Crafting an experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. I believe it had a lot of potential too. As the multiplayer team iterated on their concept for The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallized, the gameplay got more refined and satisfying, and we were enthusiastic about the direction it was headed. In ramping up to full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. I just want to stop right there. Remember in the video, what video was it? I said this in many videos, but I, oh, I said it in the video regarding the, um, the day before developers and them canceling, shutting down that game, going bankrupt, you know, the game's a financial failure, they're closing down the studio, all that stuff. I said it in, the, in that video most recently, but I've said it a lot of times. Ambition is sometimes the biggest enemy of game develop, development, ambition. I, it, 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 is some, it is a cursed word. It's one of the words I actually don't like to hear when, when, when I hear about video game development. Number one is, there's three, there's three like horsemen of the apocalypse words that are like cursed for game development. Ambition, scope, innovation. Those are the three words I don't, I, you would think those are positive words for game development. I don't want to hear that nowhere near the, get the games I'm looking forward to. They are precursors to disaster. The biggest scope we've, we've ever seen or we've ever worked on. That means they're, they're getting ahead of themselves. They're, they're doing too much. They're biting off more than they can chew. That is a bad word. Ambition. They're trying to do more than they've ever done before. They, you know, they're be, they have these lofty goals. It's bad. Innovation. Innovation. A lot of I say it all the times. It's it's overrated. Sometimes you you know a lot of times you don't need innovation. Sometimes you just need refinement. Sometimes you just need to do what was done before, but do it better than everybody else has done it before. I can't tell you how many games have failed been a disaster, not came out to ambition, scope, and innovation. And people called me crazy when, when I've said this before. So I've said, I don't want my games to be all that stuff because it leads to disaster. And it, that is proven. It is proven science at this point. It's proven. It's documented. Look at, look at the evidence. It is the enemy of timely game development and games actually releasing. I continue to release and support The Last of Us Online. We'd have we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development of future single-player games. So two things: 
that's actually one thing I, I asked and I wondered about, right? With this, when, when Factions 2 was clearly becoming a games as a service, I thought about it. I thought about, like, who's going to support this? Because Naughty Dog has a, has a head of, like, a studio head of, like, 400 developers, right? And I remember I said online, you can't really split a studio, even, even a studio like Naughty Dog, into three. Some people believe that, oh, they could be working on three project, different projects at once. Nonsense. I said, just like, just like us playing video games, if you're playing three different video games at once, you're really not making that much progress. You're not getting anywhere. Because you need to be putting all your, all your time into one thing to get that out of the way. And I said it's the same thing in game development. If a studio is working on three different, three different projects, guess what they're working on? Nothing. It's like the saying that they have in NFL, in the NFL. If you have, what is it? If you have, uh, if you have multiple quarterbacks, you have none. Because what you really need is just one, one franchise quarterback. So if you have multiple that you consider a potential quarterback, you really have none. That's not what you want. So let's be real. A studio like Naughty Dog with their head count could probably work on two at a time, not three. I said this and people thought I was crazy. Oh, that analogy doesn't make sense. Oh, they can, you know, they can have certain people on this, certain people on this. It takes, I've, I've, said, I've said this, it takes a lot more people than y'all think to develop these games for it to come out in a timely manner. Can't have no 50 people working on this this type of project and it, it gets anywhere. If it was an indie game, sure, but no, 50 people is not enough for this type of thing. So I always wondered how were they, how, who was going to support, who was going to make all this post content to sustain it? Who was going to do it? I wasn't, I wasn't, that's one thing I wasn't sure about. And that's why I was, I was always skeptical of it becoming a, a games of service. I just wanted it to be a regular multiplayer game. That's what I always wanted. But in the absence of that, because people say you can't release regular multiplayer games anymore, it has to be games as a service. That's just how the industry is. It has to be, which I disagree with. So I said, okay, fine. If it has to be a games as a service, I'll settle for that because, the, because games as a service is just the natural evolution to multiplayer games, apparently, because it just doesn't make any financial sense for you to release a regular multiplayer game and not continue to... Uh, monetize it, not continue to, you know, make it a platform, all that stuff. All right, fine. Those are the rules. What can I do? So I'll settle for it becoming a games as a service, even though I didn't want all that ambitious stuff, all this co-op, all this story that they were going to put in factions and all this stuff. No, I just wanted it to be, I wanted factions to be what we got in part, in part one, but with Last of Us Part 2 gameplay and some more modes. That's all. That's all I wanted. I didn't want all this extra stuff that they decided, oh, we should do that too. I didn't want none of that stuff. L like, bro, we played and people played Last of Us Factions for years, years and years and years. And it really only has, for the, initially only had, had two modes. It has three modes now. And people are still playing it because it's still fun. So you can't tell, you can't tell me if you just added four more modes to, to those for a total of seven, seven modes, a bunch of maps, a bunch of content, maybe two more, you know, two additional content drops along the way and just put that out there as much content as you can in a, in a, in a certain time, that wouldn't have been a success. It would have been. And I know it would have been. So that's what I wish they would have done, but they didn't. Um, so this, this, is, this is them. This, I don't like this sentence right here. They said it would, you know, uh, the reason they're doing it because it would severely impact development of future single player games. I, I'm reading between y'all little lines. I know what that means. Y'all are pandering to the, the, the bitch ass Sony PlayStation fan base because y'all know that they believe in this narrative and, and they think they're too good. They look down upon multiplayer. Right. Because that's the narrative right now. And, you know, they got to go with whatever PlayStation says is, is good. And the, and the Sony overlord says it's good. Remember, remember, I said if Sony said multiplayer is, is great and we're doing multiplayer and it's quality, they would fall in line. 
So Naughty Dog knows a lot of y'all are slaves to the single player is better narrative. And they're pandering to that. So people are going to read this. Well, OK, that means they're just going to focus back to single player narrative games. That's what I want. That's what I always wanted them to do anyway. Oh, no problem for me. I, I that's, this is great news to me. A bunch of you bald bozers are going are gonna to say that. I, I sure. Oh, I didn't want this anyway. Back to single player games, which is great. Dick suckers. that have defined Naughty Dog heritage, Naughty Dog's heritage. They put so much sauce on that, it's disgusting. It's, that's nasty work. Let me read that, this is nasty work. So we had two paths in front of us, become a solely live service game studio, which you didn't have to become a live service game studio at all, just release multiplayer, regular, or continue to focus on single player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. You see, that's nasty. Y'all nasty for that. Y'all know what y'all doing with that. That's gross. Y'all disgusting for that. Y'all get no respect for that. And because they know they little, they little, they little bitch ass fan base going to eat that up. Yum, 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 yum. Like what? They going to eat that right up, right? Yo, Naughty Dog. Yeah, that's right. Go Naughty Dog. Focus on single player games. Shut your ass up, bitch. Shut up. Y'all got no spine. Y'all just go with y'all just y'all just run with whatever the companies and the overlords tell y'all. They they telling y'all, okay, single, you know, it's all about single player, and y'all just going, okay, cool. Y'all, y'all are not a lot of y'all not even gonna look at this like a failure. This is a failure. This is this is absolutely a failure. Naughty Dog has failed. And I'm not saying it's all on them, but they have failed here. And some of y'all are not going to look at it like that. Some of y'all are just looking at this like a positive thing and not even going to like criticize them for it. They failed here. This, this, is, this, is, this is a botch on their resume. And, and they're trying to spin it. A lot of y'all are, are not going to look at it like that. But this, this, is, this, is, this is nasty on their resume. And I will and I will always remember that. Because a lot of y'all like to be like, oh, PlayStation and you know, Sony has the greatest first party studios. I stand I've said this and I stand by it. You cannot call yourself the greatest first party studios if you can only do one thing. I'm not saying they can only do one thing. They've done multiple things over the you know, the uh uh the time of their studios um inception. So it's not only one thing. They've mainly focused on this one thing that they're definitely great at. And I believe they can be good at other things, too, because they have shown that they've shown glimpses, glimpses of it. But if if they cannot pivot and we've seen them pivot from genre to genre in single player, which I think is impressive. But I think if you can't pivot and, and do something like this. I'm I'm I don't, I don't like that best studios in gaming moniker and label that y'all that y'all give them. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't believe in it. We are immensely proud of everyone at the studio that touched this project. The learnings and investment in technology from this game will carry into how we develop our projects and will be invaluable in the direction we are headed as a studio. We have more than one ambitious uh, brand new single player game that we're working on here at Naughty Dog and we cannot wait to share. See, they doing it again. Same thing they did in the last paragraph, just reiterating, don't worry, we got a single player game coming to just, to just placate and pander and soothe the fan base. Don't worry, we're working on a single player game, which y'all love. Y'all love single player games. Remember, remember, remember us? We make single player games that you love. Don't worry, pal. Don't worry, buddy. We're going to make another one for you and you're going to love us again. Which y'all will. Y'all going to love them again. Y'all going to love them again. But this is, this is, this is nasty work. Mentioning single play. What does single player have to do with factions? Y'all, y'all, I, I get that y'all given the reasoning as to why, but like mention it, mentioning it multiple times. That's nasty work. I don't, I don't respect it. Y'all dirty for that. Low blow. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
what is what is you know and it's, this is something that i believe had a lot of potential i believe you know my vision of it would have been a success um it would this is something that i was waiting for before last of us part two came out i was waiting for this you know since factions one started to get long in the tooth and started to get kind of old so this is definitely the most anticipated project that I would say I was looking forward to and waiting on. And because we're, we are in this space where I think there is no, the, the unique aspects of multiplayer games, I think don't exist. I think the just the unique flavor that every multiplayer game had what you know that that happened during the 360 and the PS3 era now all these games just seem to be an amalgamation of one another and just have no 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 identity of themselves no there's nothing unique about them it's just they all start to blend together multiplayer so I believe we are in the best times for single player games. Absolutely. This is, you know, the, the, the greatness of single player games have continued, but the multiplayer genre has fallen. It has never been worse. Never been worse for multiplayer games. From a creative standpoint, mechanical, whatever you, it's, it's horrible. Multiplayer games are at their worst right now. I probably would have cherished the P PS3 360 days if I would have known it would have gotten like this. I would have cherished those days a little bit more. I didn't think it was going, going, going in this direction. Sad times among us. Sad days ahead. This is like the Great Depression of multiplayer games. The Great Depression. And I don't know how long we're going to be in it. I believe the industry will eventually, like, nature will heal. You know, things are going to spin the block again. Trends, trends come back around. You know, what was once old will become new again. I believe that. So a lot of the trends of like how multiplayer games used to be, I believe a lot of those will come back around. And what we have now will begin to fade because I think people are going to get tired of it. I think a lot of people are tired of it anyway. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but I think eventually the multiplayer space will start to thrive again. I don't know when, but things, and it might get worse before it get better. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know what else to say. It's unfortunate. The dream is dead. Pour one out. Pour one out for factions, I guess. Smoking on the factions. It's a wrap. I have been... I've, I've been the spokesperson, bro. I've been the spokesperson. I, I was the only one standing on a hill by myself since the PS4, early in the PS4 generation, where I was like, bro, I get that PlayStation is making all these single player games, but where's the multiplayer? Hello, multiplayer matters, you know, multiplayer matters. And everybody was telling me, shut up, we don't care. And I was like, all right, fine, throw your stones at me. I'm going still, to still preach this multiplayer matters. I'm going to still preach it. And I don't know what this means for, you know, the other multiplayer projects because they, they're working other, on other games as a service. I don't, know what, I don't know if this is a sign of things to come for those things. Maybe some of those studios are better equipped um, for these uh, games as a service. Because, because, and not all of them were first-party games. Some of, some of these... First party studios are definitely working on a game's service, but uh, 
It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, yeah. And it wouldn't be so bad if like some of my other, like a lot of the multiplayer games that, that I've liked, like the legacy ones, are literally at their at their worst now. Somehow they've all like like converged to be all ass at one time. Like Battlefield is the worst and of course Battlefield has recovered. Don't get me wrong. Battlefield has recovered. They've made great strides from how they launched. But still, Battlefield 2042 is still behind all the best battlefields regardless of how many improvements they've made it's still a, it's still a, it's worst and any other multiplayer game that i've liked it's at its worst it's at its worst bro so um what else can i say i don't know i don't know i don't know and you know this is going to be a distant memory for for some of y'all because it's funny some people are like oh naughty dog uh you know they oh they fell off oh they listen as soon as they release last of us part 3 because that we know what that's what they're making all of y'all are going to be eating out the palm of their hand again oh we love you naughty dog oh you're so great oh best developer ever you know all that y'all going to be just just glazing them and i'm not gonna forget this i'm going to be this while y'all glaze them am i looking forward to last of us part three absolutely am i gonna forget this this transgression absolutely not this trans this transgression will not be forgotten i'm gonna remember So, I, I, I stood strong by myself on the hill all these years when they tried to tear me down. Nobody cared. Hey, man, I did the job. I did the job as long as I could. I, I carried the torch. Carried it. Now it's time for me to put down, put down the torch. Put my jerseys in the rafter. I represented as long as I could. I'm retiring, man. I'm retiring. My my, I, I carried the cross. I carried the burdens. You know. I was on the front lines, taking all the hits. Now it's time for me to, you know. It's time for me to lay down my arms. Rest in peace. R.I.P. to factions. R.I.P. Um, follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. A lot of people are saying this calls for another uh another episode of weapon wheel this this weekend because last week was supposed to be our last episode i don't think so <laughs> i doubt it we on vacation <laughs> we I don't, I don't think we coming back so y'all gonna have to wait till next year for us to talk about this we gonna have a lot, lot to talk about next year and i feel like they're they're doing this they they they're announced this now in december because i think they had to cancel it um this year to get like a write off on their taxes for next year or whatever. Uh you know, I, I don't know the exact details of how that goes, but I think, you know, they could just you know, write it down as a as a write off or whatever. So they're trying to get back what they can from spending all the money that they've clearly invested in this. So, yeah. We out. Peace.